Jeff Bezos unveiling Blue Moon. This is a lunar lander, Kelly. His space company, Blue Origin, has been developing that he says could be used to meet NASA's ambitious deadline to get Americans back on the moon in five years. I love this. It's the right thing to do. And for those of you doing the arithmetic at home, that's 2024. And we can help meet that timeline, but only because we started three years ago. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. So Bezos betting on a future in which Earth is used for habitation, light industry, and space for heavy industry like mining and manufacturing. Now, he also believes that at some point we could have self-sustaining orbiting colonies, so-called O'Neill colonies, but that, that will come later. Rather, he sees the task now as providing the infrastructure to make space more accessible for future entrepreneurs, much like established infrastructure for deliveries, payments, telecom here enabled him to create Amazon during the 90s. Reusable Rocket's going to be a big part of that. And guys, Bezos also making clear he is not interested in going to Mars. Rather, he sees this as space for Earth. That's unlike Elon Musk at SpaceX. And perhaps part of the reason we did see some comments uh, that, were pro that maybe prompted some Twitter trolling by Musk on the heels of all of this news late last night as well. Back over to you. You know, but, Morgan, I didn't come up with that line <laughs> myself. Oh, come on. Just take credit for it. All Gino. Good job, Gino. <laughs> uh, and uh, we go to the moon instead of Mars because you can guarantee one day shipping to the moon. <laughs> there a you lot go. easier there. It, it is much easier to move back and forth, and then you have frozen water and other, all of, uh, kinds of other potential um, okay. options there that are much closer and to And we Mars. were just saying if there's helium there, then you, that would help Party City. It'd well. be saved. Yes. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs>